The Battle of Guadalcanal was a decisive campaign, and a turning point in the World War II offensive against the Empire of Japan. It would last from August 1942 until February 1943. This battle was also decisive for the young man who we memorialize today. On January 8, 1943, the Japanese attacked a U.S. Army infantry line in Guadalcanal, positioned on a ridge as Seahorse. This attacking force resulted in many wounded and dead, calling for a U.S. retreat, but not everyone retreated. Two soldiers from Company M, Sergeant William G. Fournier, the machine gun section leader and technician 5th grade Lewis R. Hall did not withdraw and are remembered for their sacrifice. Today we honor 29-year-old William Grant Fournier. Sergeant Fournier was born on June 21, 1913 in Norwich, Connecticut to parents Olive Gadro and Alfred C. Rill Fournier. Not much is known about his early years. Records show his mother died in 1914, a year after he was born. By the time he was six, he was adopted and raised by his uncle, Henry Gadro, and aunt, Amelia Pashley Gadro, in Washington County, Rhode Island. He attended grammar school in Rhode Island and worked at a store installing radios. At the age of 18, William moved to Maine, where he worked as a hired hand and driver. He enlisted in the U.S. Navy shortly after, in 1931, from Winterport, Maine, and served for nearly a decade. In 1937, his aunt and adopted mother, Amelia, passed away. Just two years later, his brother, Alfred Cyril uh, Jr., drowned in an ice fishing accident. In September 1940, Sergeant Fournier re-enlisted in military service, this time in the United States Army from Bangor, Maine. Sergeant Fournier was assigned to Company M of the 25th Infantry Division in the 35th Infantry Regiment, known as the Cacti, and was stationed at Schofield Barracks, Oahu, Hawaii. Following the attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941, the 25th Infantry Division deployed to Guadalcanal to relieve the 1st Marine Division. The island of Guadalcanal is where Sergeant Fournier would refuse to back down to the powerful attacking Japanese forces. In January, the Americans were able to set up a line of their own, but the line fell under attack on January 13. The Americans were nearly overrun. Instead of fleeing, Sergeant Fournier and Corporal Hart ch Hall charged forward to take the unmanned machine gun post of a falling soldier. They ran towards the idle gun and opened fire on the Japanese. Fournier and Hall worked together to lift the gun, depress the muzzle, and operate the trigger. They were exposed and vulnerable while they shot at the enemy and were both fatally wounded, but they broke the attack and their heroism kept the Japanese from hitting the flank of their vulnerable company. Their actions killed 46 Japanese soldiers and led to an eventual enemy retreat. Sergeant Fournier and Corpor Corporal Hall died while protecting their brothers in arms and holding the line. Sergeant Fournier was awarded the Purple Heart and the Medal of Honor posthumously. In addition, he received the Combat Infantryman Badge, the Asiatic Pacific Service Medal, and the World War II Victory Medal. The commander of the 35th Infantry Division, Colonel Robert McClure, wrote the following in a letter addressed to William's good friend. Your friend was killed in a in brave performance of duty against the enemy. I assure you that you can be proud in the knowledge that his actions were willing, loyal, and courageous in making the noblest sacrifice a man can give, his life for his country. You can be certain, however, that your grief is shared by those of us who lived and worked and fought with your friend as fellow soldiers. This pledge we make to you. We shall do our best to make certain that his sacrifice was not in vain. William Grant Fournier suffered a lot of loss in his young life, but, to, but it did not deter him from being honorable. At the bleakest times, he put duty and the well-being of others before his own. His sacrifice on January 13, 1943, reflects the many sacrifices made each and every day to preserve our nation. We honor Sergeant William Grant Fournier today with gratitude and respect. May he never be forgotten. May he always rest in peace.